In the last few years, emission control standards have become much more stringent for diesel programs. Standards that, are, that we're facing on those not only involve diesel trucks, but also heavy equipment and this sort of thing. We have right now a situation where there are a lot of shops that are looking for diesel technicians to come in because of the emission control standards. Uh, there are a lot of shops looking for technicians. They're willing to hire technicians and, and train them themselves and, and grow their own type of workforce. And so that's what we're trying to meet the need for, is uh, to produce a, a program that kind of integrates diesel and also uh, teaches things that can be utilized on both diesel and gasoline vehicles. Uh, well, what we hope to offer is uh, a program where you can get the training for both gasoline powered vehicles as well as the diesel programs. Uh, this program is designed to be um, a really important first step measure to, uh, to help people achieve a job, get a, an entry level job, and uh, be of value to the employer so that uh, they can receive even more specialized tr uh, training depending on who they're working for and uh, you know whether it's a, a heavy duty diesel shop that, that works with Caterpillar and uh, uh, road equipment and this sort of thing or if it's an over the road uh, diesel uh, transportation system. Um, but what we are attempting to do here is to build a program that meets both those needs and then bridges over into a more um, dedicated program for diesel in the future as we see that grow. We have shops in this area, in the Joplin area, that uh, are unable to find qualified technicians even on, at an entry level to, uh, to hire. Um, this job and this training that, that we're preparing people to, to go out and get a job in uh, is for someone who is more gifted in the mechanical aspects but also who have uh, a knowledge and an understanding and ability to understand electronics and how those work with electricity and uh, how these are being harnessed to produce the emission control standards that, that we're trying to reach. It is a very lucrative career choice uh, it, the pay increments are uh, pretty rapid and uh, good pay is out there and, and very much available. Probably the best pay that, uh, and wages that we've seen in, um, in the last 10-15 years in comparison with wages and, and uh, earnings of other occupations. We are needing to find those people and select those people that uh, are interested in this kind of a job and this kind of training and we need to find them pretty quickly. Uh, we've got about a, a four week window here that we would really like to proceed on because we are trying to prepare that curriculum and bridge that over this summer getting ready for the fall semester.